Hello everybody, Dr. Micah Kolas with Oxbow Animal Health. Wanted to give you a little bit of an update uh, regarding the ongoing RHD issues that unfortunately we've been talking about for the last couple of months. We have heard and had some new reported cases, mostly in California, Colorado, and a few in Utah. While we know that Colorado and California have kind of been those simmering areas, we do have a positive case in Kern County, California, which is Bakersfield, kind of on the northern end of where we've seen more of the cases. So that's certainly something that we want to be aware of. While again, we've seen a diminish in the overall number of cases being reported, there's a couple of important factors that we want to be aware of when considering that. A, we know that this is the time of year where overall virus transmission seems to diminish. Unfortunately, there is the belief when you look at the research and what the virus has done in other countries that as we move into the winter time and especially as we move into spring, it is common for case spread to increase. Let's hope that that's not necessarily going to be the case. The second component of that, and in many of these states, these seven endemic states or where the virus is now considered to be endemic into the area, they're not routinely testing wild rabbits. And so unfortunately, while there may be a disease out there, we're not seeing as much testing being done. And unfortunately, we know that that could potentially mean that there is more spread that's just not being reported. That being said, any domesticated case that is reported with a veterinarian or an owner, that should be communicated to your state veterinarian, and then they will complete that necessarily testing. We've also seen some new restrictions. We were aware of some travel restrictions in California and other states, but we're beginning to see some new travel restrictions even in some states outside of where the virus is currently an issue. Pennsylvania, Arkansas, Missouri, all different areas where there are new travel restrictions. So if you have to travel, which first of all, let's hope that you don't, if you do need to travel with your rabbit, make sure that you work with your veterinarian, not only to understand the legal requirements of that travel, such as health certificates and associated other regulatory responsibilities, but make sure you're aware of the potential risk of where you're traveling to. Now, the safest thing, as you've heard me say a bunch of different times, stay home, be safe. This isn't a time that we want to be out and about, not only for your rabbit, but for us as human beings and COVID associated with that. But if you do have to travel, take those extra precautions to work with your veteran. Make sure you have the right documentation that's associated with that travel. I do want to end on a positive note. So much of this has been negative and talking about all the struggles that we've had with this virus, but there was a recent news article that came out that talked about almost 270 of the endangered California Central Valley brush rabbit were actually trapped and vaccinated. This is a very unique population of a subspecies of the brush rabbit that for a while was actually believed to be extinct. And thanks to a sustained and ongoing recovery effort, they're now doing well in the wild, but obviously knowing the geography of where they live and where the virus is at, that was a potentially huge risk. So a really cool story to see how multiple agencies came together, got the vaccine, imported the vaccine, and vaccinated these rabbits, which will hopefully protect that very unique population. So on that note, we want to wish everybody out there happy holidays. Continue to educate yourself, and as we get more information, we'll share that with all of you. Take care.